Hi, folks. Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, today we're going to talk about optimum soybean planting dates that we've seen at the PTI farm. You know, what happens when we don't plant soybeans at that perfect planting date? What does it do to yield and what does it do on an on a, on a economic basis um, out in the field? Well, what, we've been keeping track of this. And do you know, in 2022, soybean planting date made our top 10 list. Matter of fact, it was number two on our top 10 list at a negative $123 to the acre. Just goes to show you, if you can't plant beans in that sweet spot or that sweet window, our yield, yields are gonna fall and we're gonna lose some money on a per acre basis and they look to be pretty significant. We had the opportunity to survey farmers this winter and, and part of our PTI farm winter tour. We had about 670 some growers answer this question for us. What's the earliest you've ever planted soybeans on your farm? 3% said the earliest they've ever planted was the first half of March. 7% in the second half of March. And then we've got this big group in April. The first half of April, about 34% of the growers said they were able to get in get in, the, in that time frame. 44%, the largest percentage of all of them, the second half of April, which is really no surprise. And then 12% said, well, we're in, in our neck of the woods. We really can't get in until about the first, first week of May or later. You know, you look at our yield data set over the last five years at the PTI farm, it has been interesting to look at soybean planting date. Um, you know, yields, my highest yields come from three different planting dates, March, first half of April, and last half of April. And then once we get past those three early planting windows, my yield falls off. And they, they fall off so much so where I'm sitting in that 50 to 60 bushel yield range where I, get, I look at soybeans and say, I, I, I'm kind of stuck on soybean yield. We've talked about that on previous episodes of Inside PTI, how some, some farmers think they're kind of in a bubble, they're stuck with growing high yield soybeans. For us, we've been there, you know, it's, we've seen it. And, and one of the things we're trying to do is plant soybeans earlier to get a longer growing season to try to push soybean yields higher. And our data would say that is working. Some people would say, well, Jason, you've got March soybean planting data in your data set. And we do. Uh, we've been able to plan in March four of what will be our sixth year at the PTI farm. Matter of fact, here's a picture of, of us planting this spring. We were able to sneak in the last couple days of March. Again, this is the fourth time of six years here at the PTI farm um, of planting beans early, especially as early as March. Now, look at this, I put some data together. As a kid, I can remember dad and, and my grandfather bringing the corn planter up into the tool shed and they'd give me a ratchet and they'd say, hey, take all the corn meters off the planter and put the soybean meters on. We've got our corn done, now we're gonna go plant soybeans. Well, this whole game has kind of changed here a little bit. We've got a lot of farmers that are planting soybeans first and then planting corn. But I said, hey, let's look at it this way. Let's go back to that traditional planting date of that first week of May. Very popular for a lot of growers planting soybeans during that time frame. And I said, let's compare it to going two weeks earlier in the last half of April. Let's go first half of April comparison. And then let's even look at March plantings. Again, these are all plantings that we've had here at the PTI farm. You look at my average yield of, of my plantings, the first half of May, we're running 60 some bushel beans. Okay, again, I kind of feel in that stuck area. But look what happens when I just push planting dates up two weeks, that last half of April. Now I'm approaching 80 bushel beans. That's a 15 bushel yield gain by trying to move planting dates two weeks earlier, just two weeks. I'm not talking about March plantings, that's severe of an early planting date. Just two weeks, we're seeing a 15 bushel yield potential by being able to do that. And everything we do at this farm, I think of risk and reward. How much risk are you willing to take to get this high reward? With early planted soybeans, my risk is frost, okay, a freeze. But I look at this, when it works, a 15 bushel yield gain, pushing planting dates up two weeks, that's a pretty good reward right there. So I'm willing to take the risk to try to get this reward. It looks to be pretty substantial. One of the things I, I found interesting is I've asked growers here at the PTI farm during the summer on our tours, if you could plant beans early, would you plant an early bean or a late bean? I took the opportunity to ask this very question as a part of our PTI farm winter tour in January, February, and March, 
we had um, just a little under 700 growers that responded to this question. 38% of them said if they could plant early, they would in fact plant an early maturing soybean. 51%, almost half the growers, right, said, no, no, if we're going to plant early, we're going to plant a late maturing variety. 8% said, I don't think it really matters, it's all luck. And 2% were undecided. But it, it's been interesting asking this question during the summertime. And, it, and in general, it was always about a 50-50 result. 50% would plant early, early bean, 50% would plant a late one. But I never really had any data to, to prove the answer to this question. We've started collecting data on this. We've got one year data. Here's what we do. When we do our planting date study, I plant both in every single planting date entry we have. I plant an early bean and a late bean. This past year, I planted a 2.9 maturing soybean compared to a 3.9 maturing soybean variety. And you can see it here on the screen. Look at that, that yellow bean. That's my early bean, uh, my first planting day. You can kind of see how it's going through that senescence process a little quicker. But I want to know if I can plant early, and this was March 17th, should I plant an early bean or a late bean? I want to keep track of this and figure out what, what the right thing to do is. This year, when we, this past year, when we looked at the data, and granted, it's only one year of data, it probably means nothing, right? Because it's only one data set. But it was interesting looking at the data. And you know, we, when we planted beans on March 17th, there was only a bushel difference between the early bean and the late bean. That's it. However, we go to a later planting date towards the end of April, 1st of May, and then this whole thing kind of shifted where it was a huge advantage for the later maturing soybean. So we're going to keep track of this. In general, in my mind, if I can plant early, I'm going to plant a late bean every single day, every single time, because I want a longer growing season to establish more nodes per plant, which will give me more beans per plant. But we're going to keep track of this data over time and, and get a good data set here. And we'll really track this thing and, and try to show what happened here. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is when is the right time to plant soybeans? If given the opportunity, okay, on, on, at the PTI farm, I want to plant soybeans early because we've seen the yield potential um, of planting beans early. Now, everybody says, well, what about cold soils? What about wet soils? I don't want to force early planting if I'm not fit. Soils have to be fit. Now, soils can be cold, but they can't be mud. They always, my grandpa always used to say, if you plant the crop in the mud, your crop will probably be a dud. And I think there's a lot of truth to it. You can put all the technology on a planter in the world, but it's not going to fix mud in a crop. I think early planting soybeans could offer an extended growing season for us, especially where we're at in central Illinois. Um, a longer growing season is going to equal more nodes. I'm going to get more nodes up and down that main stem and on the branches, and that's going to equal more pods, and that's going to equal more yield. Okay, Our data would say planting dates in the last two weeks of April have resulted in 15 bushel yield gains over traditional planting dates near the first week of May. Lastly, early plant seeding rates near 100,000 final stands have been very successful at the PTI farm. However, if you get put into a situation where you need to plant later, this, this thing changes drastically and you're gonna have to increase seeding rates due to the shorter growing season. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Inside PTI. If you've got any questions about anything we've talked about today, send me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com or stop into your local Precision Planning Premier dealer and have a conversation with them. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.